folks, this is Damien here with Best Care doing an instructional video on how to operate our SA family of sit-to-stand products. The SA family of lifts comprises the 400, the 500, and the 600 pound lift. This video is intended to explain the entire family of lifts. The differences between the lifts are of course the weight capacities, 4, 5, and 6. The 400 and 500 are going to look just identical to this, except the motor is going to be a little bigger for the 500 pound lift. The 600 pound lift is going to use this foot plate and knee brace since it's larger for a more bariatric patient. You can kind of see the size of it here. Now let's go ahead and show you how to operate the lift. You can see that the lift rolls around on four wheels. We got two locking casters in the back. Push the tab to lock. Push it again to unlock it. The base opens and closes with a foot pedal. Pushing in one direction opens the base. Pushing the other direction closes it. We'd open up the base to get around a wide piece of furniture or a wheelchair. Close it back down to make it easier for us to roll it around in the room when the patient's in the lift. The locks are only used when you're raising the patient up. So you'd lock it to raise the patient up. You'd leave it unlocked when you're lowering the patient back down into the sitting position. You can kind of see from the bottom of the lift here that we have a foot plate located here. That's where the patient's feet are going to rest when we make the transfer. And a knee brace that's going to brace the person's knees during the transfer. We can raise and lower the knee brace with a knob on the side. Just loosen it, raise it to a comfortable height, and tighten it again. We can adjust the position of the knee brace with this knob at the bottom. When we pull it out, we can tilt the knee brace forward or we can put it back to make it comfortable for the transfer. This lift operates quite differently than the full body lift because this lift is designed to stand a person up. So when we raise up the lift by pushing the button on the remote, you can kind of see that it moves in an arc to get the person into a standing position. That's what's going to happen when we make the transfer with the patient. So now that you kind of understand how to operate the lift, let's go ahead and show you how to lift a patient with a lift. Now it's time for me to show you how to use the stand assist sling with the SA family of sit to stand products. You can see that the S stand assist sling is shaped like so with an additional little support strap here in the center and a cushion at the bottom. The cushion at the bottom is what's actually going to lower down behind the patient in this kind of the lumbar support area. So when we place it on the patient, we're going to take the sling. So you lean your patient forward just slightly, take the sling, tuck it down behind the person until the lumbar support is touching the chair. Bring the support strap around the person's waist and buckle it and tighten it so it's nice and secure around the patient's waist. Now we want to make sure we have access to the sets of loops that are on the support vest. The next step, bring our sit to stand SA product up to the patient, open up the base, put the feet on the platform, and bring the knee brace as close as you can to the patient's knees. If you need to, you can adjust that knee brace in and out, up and down, so that it's in the right spot on the patient's knees, just as right about right there. Lock the wheels and connect the loops on the vest to the hooks, first set of hooks on the SA. Now you can see that there's three sets of loops. The shorter the loop, the taller it stands somebody. The longer the loop, the further away the patient is from the lift while you're transferring them. We've got our loops connected. Now the patient would place their hands on the handles, take our remote, hit the up button, and you want the patient to lean back into the sling as much as possible during the transfer. That's very important. If the patient starts to lean forward and stand up naturally, the belt could slide up underneath their arms. So you can see it's kind of pulling the person into a standing position. Once we're in a comfortable position, 
unlock the casters, take the lift away from the wheelchair, close the base, and now transfer the patient to another seated position. Now it's time for me to show you how to use the buttocks support strap with the SA family of sit-to-stand products. As you can see right now, our patient is in the lift with the standard support vest behind their back. What this product is designed to do is provide additional support if the patient has a tendency to slide down through the sling during the transfer process. So I'm going to go ahead and raise up the patient as I normally would. And you can see that when the patient starts to raise up into a standing position, there's a, there's a possibility that they can slide down. So our buttock support strap will simply connect to the first set of hooks. And you have multiple loops to adjust the size, the length I mean. Bring it around the bottom and then connect it to the other side. So now you can see that with this additional support, we can minimize the possibility of the patient sliding down in the sling. Now it's time for me to show you how to use the Sani sling with the SA family of products. There's going to be times where a patient gets to the point where they need complete and total support to be transferred from either the bed, the chair, or the toilet. So what we offer you with our Sani sling is the ability to completely support that patient and still get the patient to the toilet. Let me show you how it works. You can kind of see that the sling itself is shaped like a horseshoe. We've got a strap in the center. We're going to buckle around the person's waist. And we've got that lumbar support piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold that horseshoe upside down, step behind the patient, tuck the lumbar support down to the lumbar area. And bring the waist strap around the person's waist, tighten it, and then buckle it. Make sure it's snug. Take the leg straps, bring them around the hip, underneath the leg, into the, about the center of the knee and the hip area. Then do the same with the other side. Last is crisscross the leg straps. Now let's prepare the SA product to attach to the sling. We simply take the knee brace and foot plate and remove it from the lift. Approach the patient, open the base, bring it up to the person, lock the casters. Now we're going to connect the Sani sling to the spreader bar. Take the shoulder loops, connect them to the first set of hooks at the lowest loop position. Take the leg loops and connect them to the second set of hooks in the front at the lowest position. Hit the up button on the lift and we're going to raise the patient out of the chair. And as you see, the patient is completely supported by the sling. So now you can see that we have the ability to transfer a patient who bears no weight with the Sani sling and the SA products.